This is ABC 7 News at 11. Loud protests outside the Alameda County Courthouse this morning where a former BART police officer has an important court appearance for shooting an unarmed BART passenger. That preliminary hearing for Johannes Masserly may take two weeks instead of just a few hours. He's accused of fatally shooting Oscar Grant on early New Year's Day. The hearing may include video the public has never seen. Terry McSweeney joins us now from Oakland with the latest. And Terry, Oscar Grant's family is there today. Yeah, there are about 20 members of Grant's family inside that courtroom, and there are members from defendant Johannes Meserly's family in that courtroom as well. No cameras allowed. We have no pictures to show you from inside that courtroom, but ABC 7 Cecilia Vega is inside, and she talked to me a short time ago. She says things are very tense in there, and seven deputies are making sure security is tight. Hey, hey! Ho, oh, oh. Dozens of people chanted slogans this morning outside the courthouse. Inside the courtroom, video similar to this taken by a passenger on a BART train in the early morning hours of January 1st at the Fruitvale BART station, intended to show the atmosphere at the time. Karina Vargas took it. She was traveling from San Francisco to Hayward. She testified that BART officers were angry and agitated at Oscar Grant and his friends, and there was chaos on the platform. She says Grant, quote, had his hands up, his back against the wall, and from what it looked like, cooperating, end quote. The video did not show the shooting, but when the audio of the gunshot was heard in the courtroom, Grant's family members and friends sobbed. Defendant Meserly looked straight ahead, not at the screen. Meserly's defense attorney previously had said his client thought he was reaching for a taser. Other witnesses say Meserly claimed he thought Grant was reaching for a gun. Did he ever say, oh, I thought he was going for his gun and that's why I pulled my gun out? Because that is in complete contradiction to what we are now hearing. Oh, I went for my taser and I made a mistake. Judge C. Don Clay also denied a defense motion to have the DA taken off the case because he had tried to talk to defendant Meserly against the defense attorney's wishes. The prosecution at some point is expected to unveil a tape never before made public with the clearest view yet of the shooting. The defense is angling for a charge of manslaughter. The prosecution wants to try the former BART officer for murder. Protesters know where they stand on that issue. To demand justice for the murder of our brother and that prosecution in the fullest extent of the law be brought against Johannes Mezzanin. Because of the pre-trial publicity in this case and the intense emotion surrounding this case, it is expected the defense is going to ask for a change of venue, but that's not going to happen, it is believed, until jury selection begins. That is down the road, maybe towards the end of this year. Live in Oakland, Terry McSweeney, ABC 7 News.